Sorry guys, don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with this internet. Facebook has just been an absolute nightmare just now. It's just been like that with everybody. Everybody seems to be complaining about their lives. I don't know what they're doing. It, I don't know if it was Facebook right enough. It could have just been my internet. Because that's just as much of a nightmare as the... As the what? I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, it's Facebook. Right, so anyway, back to these brows. Try and sort these out a wee bit. Give them some loving. So pretty, the pretty loving. So Mia, you've just been cleaning and cleaning and sorting the kids out. Mum life. Yeah, it's mine has been doing that as well. It's been doing it a lot. I don't know why. As I've actually noticed it with a few people and their live videos, it's been doing it with them as well. Just uh, Some people are having to do like three different parts to their live because they just keep cutting them off. It's very strange. Very strange. I deliberately don't put music or anything on to, you know, just in case I get in trouble for that. Messenger went a bit funny as well, didn't it? Oh yeah, right enough, he wanted his new room. We've been sorting our youngest's room out as well. And it's the smallest room in the house and I think it's taken the longest out of the whole house to actually do. Crazy, crazy. Right, so we just flick some of these on. Once this dries, as always, it dries to a powder. So it doesn't stay that um, shiny way. It doesn't stay shiny. And it doesn't smudge. And you could go swimming with it. And all that jazz. Cool. Fantastic stuff. This is cool. Stuff? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find that, Judy? Oh, it's <laughs> My wee one just come through with a big blonde wig on. Okay, so, brows are done just now. Completely different, as always. I'm going to do them universe room. Got all this stuff. Ah, brilliant. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Got all my brushes out today, so I'm so organised. Not going to lose anything. For five minutes. Right, I'm just going to do the eyes first. So I'll go in with my concealer. Skin Perfecting Concealer, as usual. This is... Uh, Full coverage. I'm just gonna do that onto the eyelid and it'll give me a chance to Did you close Bye. my door please? Bye. Bye. Um clean these up as well. I've tucked my mirror in behind my phone today, so I'm hoping that it lasts here. 
It tends to fall every time I, ha I come on, my mirror falls. I'm just gonna clean those up a bit. So is everybody having a good day? I will, I'll ask again, seeing as I got rudely interrupted by Facebook. Anything exciting happening? Anybody having anything exciting? I like to hear of exciting plans that people have over the weekend. Just so I could be jealous. Right, so I'm just going to Clean the bottom of the eyebrow off with the concealer. Cover the rest of my lid so this will give me a base for my eyeshadow. Um, as well. This is what I use as an eye primer. This will help bring out the pigments in the eyeshadow as well. Okay, and I'll go over to the other side and do the same. If you're jumping on, come say hi. Um, if you're watching on replay, stick a one in the comments so I know that you've been watching. I can say thank you. And if you're feeling extra generous, please share the video. I would really appreciate it. That would be very, very kind of you. Okay, so... That's my base down for my eye shadow. Okay, now I'm going to set that with some setting powder. You could actually set your um, eyes with eyeshadow as well. I'm just going to set mine with the powder. So it doesn't crease. Hi Evelyn. Thanks for coming and saying hi. Hi Suzanne. Hi Margaret. Thank you all for saying hi. Saves me from kind of talking to myself, doesn't it? Feeling like I'm talking to myself. Oh, here we go. Right, so that's them set. That'll stop them from, when I'm moving my eye, uh, the concealer creasing. Hi, Suzanne. Right, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with Addiction Palette 4 today. Um, this is, Mainly browns and blues. I'm just going to stick with the browns today. So I'm going to start off with this colour, which is Arrogant. Okay, I'm just going to take this into just above the crease area. It's actually been quite quite warm today when I've looked. I've not even been I've been outside once today. Um but it seems to have stayed dry all day anyway. Okay, so this is my transition colour. <laughs> I think it's so funny when those wee eyes come up. I'm just going to take that right into the crease. It's 
So has anybody got plans for going out tonight? Any parties or... Well, I'm just being nosy, am not I? <laughs> I'm learning too, Suzanne. I'm just, I'm learning as much as everybody else. I'm certainly no professional. Oh, it's been raining, is it? It's, I thought it was going to rain today. Um, it's funny how you get up, get up in the morning and first think, am I going to get my washing out today? Instead of thinking, oh, it's Saturday. Let's go out partying. I think of my washing instead. Oh, has it been nice up there? Yeah, it seems... It's not been too bad here. It's kind of strange when you get... Like you say, Mia, you're in, you're in Newcastle, so... It's usually the other way about. Usually we're getting the, the rain and everything, and then down south, further south, get the better weather. So it makes a wee change. It's good when the kids are off, like, for the weekend as well, though. Nothing worse than them having the weekend off... Um, and it been raining and they're just bored. Right, so that was arrogant. I'm going to take my crease brush. Hi, Kaylin. Is it Kaylin? Sorry if I say anybody's name wrong. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. I've just kind of... I'll probably go back to them. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the... Oh, what am I going to go in with? I'm going to go in with Brave. The colour Brave. There's the darker brown. And just take a little bit of that with these with this makeup. Hi Jesse. With this makeup, it, like I say, it's just you just need the tiniest little bit and it goes such a long way. And I'm gonna take that into more into the corner. Darken that corner out. The outer V. And just do it, just to darken that a bit. Try and disguise the fact that I've got such a hooded eye. And I'm going to open my eye and I'm just going to take this just above, just above my natural crease because my, because my eyes are, are hooded, when I open them, uh, I have to bring anything on my lid up f slightly further. Because when I open my eyes, a lot of my lid kind of disappears under the fold. If any of that makes sense. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> I don't understand why people... Why people... Come on, and say anything. Why don't they just leave? But hey ho, not to worry. Okay, so just darkening that outer corner there. Um, like I said, just a tiny little bit of product it goes a long way. I'm going to go back in with a clean, fluffy brush. Where is it? And I'm just going to blend that out. So there's no harsh lines. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just... Um, just doing some makeup. Just... Not going anywhere special. Nowhere in particular. Thank you for that, Dan. Just pin my post. Pin my website. So, there we go. Um, with these products, uh, less is more. 
So you've seen just the little bit that I used on the corner there. You're always best to go in with uh, the smallest amount and just build it up as you go because the more you just put onto your eye, it's harder and harder to blend out. Facebook has been a nightmare. I know. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know why it's doing it. It seems to be doing the same with everybody just now. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go over to this side and do the same. Just take that into the corner. Close this eye to do this eye. Darken that up. If you're not friends with me on Facebook, feel free to add me as a friend. And I would really appreciate it if you could share the video. That would mean a lot to me. Right, and again, I'm just going to go back in with a blending brush and give that a buff. Buff, buff, buff. And that will just smooth out any, any harsh lines between colours. Thank you, Mia. Thank you so much. Hmm. I think I might go in and darken it a little bit more. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. It always tends to look different in this. Depending on where my light sits, some one eye always looks darker than the other every time in my mirror. That one's a wee bit darker, I think. Right, and I'm going to go back in with that first colour, that arrogant, that lighter brown. And I'm just going to take that back over the top where I did it before. Oh, okay. I will do. I think actually, I don't know if my mum's on. She was on, but I'll let her know that you know her. I'll let her know that you know her, obviously. I'm just going to darken this up a wee bit up here, because it's annoying me. These colours, actually all their products, they just blend out so well. So easy, just a light, just a small tickle and it just blends and blends. Now do we think, do you think that, that, that eye is darker than that eye or is it just the light? I don't want to keep darkening it because I'm the light. Right, okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm then going to go in with the colour, this colour, this colour, uh, Tender, which is like a shimmer colour, and I'm going to put that on the lid. Can she not? She can't get back on. I wonder why. I don't even know how to invite. Why? I don't know what Facebook's playing at. So I'm just going to take some of that, always tap off the excess, and I'm just going to lay that down on the rest of my lid. Yeah, it's... Sometimes I do that, Mia. You probably notice that. I, I, I go back to one eye and I keep adding and adding colour, and I'm like... That one still looks darker than that one. But it's the way my, it's kind of the way my light's tilted. Right, I'm just going to take that right over there. You could actually 
wet this a bit, which I might do, put some setting spray on it. Uh, and that way it brings out the pigment a bit better. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> setting spray. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I'm just going to get a bit wet on this. Right, so just tap that back in. Look out, there we go. And that just brings that colour out a bit more shimmery. And again, go over this side and do the same. I've been waiting for this palette for ages. I was a bit reluctant because it has blues in it. I think I might try the blues the next time. This is more my comfort zone colours, the browns. What oh, do you? Remember me when I was a wee girl? It's strange when you see if you, when you remember someone from when they're really young, and then when you you see them now, it's and they're all grown up. It's so scary. It really is. I mean, my oldest is twenty one at the end of this year, and I'm like, that's just nuts. I remember when I had her, and she's about to be twenty one. I mean, I could be a granny. I can't believe I could be a granny. There she is. Hello, Mum. You got back on, dear. What was happening? Right, so there we go. That's the some of the browns. Uh, what do we think of that? Quite like that. It's quite pretty. Quite pretty. I'm going to take Optimistic, which is an even lighter shimmer. <laughs> it makes me feel old as well, knowing that my firstborn's will be 21. I say that to my mum, I says to my mum. And she, she, well, she says to me, but you're my youngest and you're away to be 40. I was like, oh yeah, God. Hi mum, there's someone on here that knows you. <laughs> Remembers me when I was little. Right, so I'm just going to take this, uh, this is Optimistic, it's a shimmer colour, and I'm just going to do the brow bone with this to give this a highlight, highlight the brow bone up there, it's beautiful colour, it's beautiful. Ah. She'll be able to see your comments. Just above mum, Carol. She would have been Carol Carr. Right, so just going to put some of that shimmer in there. And a tad on the inside of my eye. There we go, happy with that just now. Now we're going to go in for a wee tidy up and get the rest of the face on when it will all come together a bit better. And I put my epic mascara on, my favourite part. Right, I'm just going to just give this a bit of a clean up under the eyes. Yeah, I used to do that as well. Um, Suzanne, I used to use 
I used to use all that. So in fact, years ago I did the Avon as well and I used to use all the Avon's products but since I've gotten older, my skin's got really sensitive. I don't know why. Don't know what's happened. Um, and everything just irritates my skin. So I was finding that maybe something that I used, something maybe my mum used would be okay for her and it would just completely irritate me. Um, so I've been finding it difficult. To, I've not been really putting anything else on my skin because, because of that. Anything I touch with my hands or whatever, they just completely break out. Um, but when I discovered the unique and I, I finally went for it, um, nothing's done that to me. Nothing, nothing that I've used up to now um, has done that to me at all. Nothing's irritated my skin. I, I've not broke out with it. So, fingers crossed, I'm not saying that there won't be anything that'll do that. I'm not going to sit and lie and say, you know, there's no... But up to now, what I've used, nothing has irritated my skin yet. So, fingers crossed. And I love it. The fact that you like it as well, it just amazes me. It's great. Right, so just going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to go on to my foundation. So, first of all... Primer. Um, do you take bookings to do makeup for a case? I haven't. Um, I've only been doing the unique for a, cu a couple of months, so I am. My intention will be to do that, um, but obviously I'm working on getting as much stock in that that I can. Um, but once, once, I, it is definitely something that I will be doing. I've had a few people asking. Asking that, but I prefer to have a mixture of all the colours, you know, so that because everybody's skin tone's different, everybody's colouring's different. At the minute, I've I'm building all my collection, so once I have that, definitely, yeah, it's definitely something I would I would like to do. Okay, so the the Touch Glorious Primer, just smaller than a pea size amount. All over the face. This is silicone based. So this will sit in all your lines, wrinkles, pores, so that the foundation doesn't sit in there. I think I've put too much of that on. Everything goes a long way, it really does. It goes such a long way. This is fantastic, it feels so good on the face. And like I say, this will just go into all those little lines and all your pores and instead of your foundation going into it this will set on that on top of them and will prevent the foundation the makeup from going in and clogging them up I got um that mask for to put on you hi Katie so that's what I got in it. That's um the primer. Then we'll go straight on with our foundation. Um which is the mineral touch foundation. My shade is Taffeta. Put this here back for that. With this you give it a good shake, make sure you give it a good shake. Squeeze out the dropper and give it a good shake again because it separates in the bottle because it's this is uh, liquid to powder. Then just take some in the dropper and you just need five drops of this. Oops. And you just take this all, all over your face. I guess I'm going to get rid of some of that redness on my face. Now what I do is, this goes a long way. Actually, I think five drops was a bit much for me at the minute. And I just pat this all in. With this foundation, often you, when you first put it on, you think, oh, I don't know if that's my colour. It's until it's all blended in and mixed in that you realise that 
that's when you get the true colour. So I just pat, I'm just giving this a wee swipe and a pat all over my face so that I could get under all this, the wee baby hairs on my face. I'm going to leave slightly underneath the eye because I put concealer under there. Once I've patted this in, I just go back and start buffing. I buff this in both directions so that just to, as to just to move it about better, you know, if it was to settle in any little line or anything, buffing it the other way will bring it back out. Move it about a bit better. I bring that right down my neck. Some people don't. That's just my preference. This is medium coverage. Um, it is buildable. I'm just going to take this side and do it. So if you put it on and you wanted to have a wee bit more coverage, you could add a wee bit more. Um, or you could use concealer and add concealer in with it. I just buff this in as much. Like I say, it's just a small amount of it goes a long way. So it's gonna last gonna last it. I've had this for about three months and I use it not every day. Um sometimes every day. I would say probably maybe say about four times a week. Hi Yvonne! I use this and I've still got loads left. because uh, like I say, you just need the the, the the five drops, or four drops, you might find that you don't need as much as five. And it's on, once you set it, it's on all day. That does you the whole day. Right, very rosy cheeks today. So that's the foundation. I'm just going to take, get some concealer for underneath the eyes. Um, well, this is this is um, for any skin. This is this does any skin. Obviously, the the main thing. A lot of people with dry skin are advised maybe to go for a BB cream. A BB cream is a tinted moisturizer. I've got that coming. That should be coming on Monday, so I'll be able to to show you what that does. And you could mix that with concealer, depending on what kind of coverage you want. Um, some people tend to just like it because it's not a foundation. Although this is so lightweight and you can barely feel it on, people just prefer the tinted moisturiser and also the dewy look. I like a matte look. A lot of people like that shiny dewy look. You get that more with the BB cream. Um, but really, this is for any... I mean, we have a, a woman at 83 that wears the this foundation... And it's just just looks fantastic on her. So really, it's just it's just a preference. It's your preference uh, whether you you could also get uh, powders like a pressed powder, for example. Here's one here, um, and it comes. And this you would just dab your brush into this and just put it all over your face, and that's got. Um, almost full coverage in that as well so instead of putting anything else on your face you could just moisturise and use the powder but as long as your skin is, is prepped underneath um, a lot of people with dry skin your foundational will um, stick to the patches of dry the dry patches it's all about exfoliating your face if you could get a good exfoliator um, and work on the skin, then your foundation will sit great anyway. Right, I'm just going to take this 
right you know underneath my eye the good thing with with these products is um we have a love your product guarantee so if you wanted to try something and you received it and you didn't like it you have 14 days to send it back even if you've tried it obviously you've got to try it um and you get a full refund, or you can exchange it for something else, whatever whatever you want. So there's really, there's really nothing to lose. If you're thinking, oh, I really want to try something, just go for it, because you will get a full refund if you don't like it. But it's hard to, it's hard to know exactly how good it is until you've tried it yourself. That's not the correct brush I was using. Here it is. Right, I'm just going to do the same over on this eye. This is the concealer, it's full coverage. Um, like I said before, if you wanted to cover, I've got a lot of freckles. So I like to cover them. Please feel free to share, guys. I'd really appreciate it. It would help me a lot. Daddy? He's not in here, darling. He's somewhere. I don't know where. Right, so this... This will um, brighten up underneath my eyes, make me look less tired. And give them a little bit of a lift. Help with uh, dark circles under the eyes. You want anything covered, this concealer is absolutely fantastic at covering. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I know, ma'am, I know. The sign of beauty is freckles, but I'm not wanting them. A lot of people actually get makeup done to get to get freckles, don't they? They'll get like we bits put on to look like freckles oh I hate mine hate it hate it I mean I hate them okay so I'll just take this right down my t-zone where the light is likely to hit I'm just gonna Blend that in a bit so that there's no massive line between the dark and the light. Laura, you can do your makeup like this. I am just learning as well. Um, honestly, it's just so easy to work with. It's the makeup itself. The makeup itself, the tools obviously make a difference. Um, and it's just practice. Honestly, it's just practice. All the eyeshadows... Uh, that I've got up to now they, they just you just need the tin, tiniest little bit and when you put them on and you use uh, for example this is a blending brush this is a fantastic brush you could actually get it in the kit uh, as well if anybody was thinking on joining the team and wanted to do what I do um, you know putting the makeup on promoting the makeup anybody wants to join the team you could feel free to message um, you get a uh, a lot of a, a good good starter kit and you get like the brush you get eyeshadows you get everything to start you off but the the eyeshadows are fantastic they just blend and blend um i mean for example you've got this palette okay and it's got like seven seven different shades in it and if you go onto the site those are 38 pound and people are like i was £38 for eyeshadow, I'm not paying that for but I'll tell you what, you pay for what you get, don't you? And, I mean, this is going to last, I, I don't know when I'll have to, to buy another one of them. I mean, yeah, I've, be, I've been in there today and done a full eye, and it looks like it's barely been touched, it's just, it's just going to last forever. Well, not forever, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did I miss? 
What's the brush? Which brush? This brush. Is it this brush you were meaning, Heather? This is a powder concealer brush. This is fantastic. I love this brush. Because you could stipple your foundation in with it as well as buffing it out. Plus you've got this side, you know, to do under your eyes. You could uh, do your contour. You could do everything with this brush. This is fantastic. Really soft. Do you have to do lives if you get the kit? No, you don't. No, no, if you join, if you join the team. I originally joined Unique to become a kidnapper, which is, um, I joined just for the kit. Because you get over £300 worth of goods, a uh, product, sorry, for £69. So I was, uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted the kit. Didn't intend doing this, but once I used the makeup, and I understood a bit more about the company and how it's helped women in that. I just wanted to, I wanted to share it. I wanted to share in. If I could help somebody else feel a bit better about themselves, then I am so happy with that. Yeah, that brush, love it. Is it a brand that you're selling? Yes, it is, yeah. You could get it on my website. Um, it's, a, it's a really good brush. It's really really soft and it's fantastic you could use it for everything but yeah you could get that you go on the website um and you'll be able to see it'll be under the tools section hi hi michelle right so what am i doing what am i doing i'm too busy yapping you need to tell me to shut up right so i'm going back in with the uh, touch behold this is translucent powder um, to set my concealer in, because like I said, uh, on my eyes, when you put concealer on, when you move your face about and, you know, you're having a, 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 a laugh or whatever and your, your eyes crease up, your concealer could, could crease up too. This will set it in place. No problem, Heather. If you need any help, just give, send me a message and I'll, I'll give you help. And... I don't like to put powder under here because I do have lines and wrinkles and but with this it's so so fine that it just you could just flick it on this will set the concealer so that it doesn't crease yeah I do have um, my Facebook um, my business page is called Power of Beauty on Facebook, but Facebook are, are having a bit of a, they're not really sending people's not, notifications, so a lot of people are, are messaging saying that they're missing out, so I've decided to come over here and do my lives, see how I get on, but yeah, my, my uh, business page is Power of Beauty. Um, and I know if you tap on my face, you could follow me, there's three buttons, up the top and I'm sure that you could follow through that so yeah I just flick this I just flick this over and that will set that concealer in so that it doesn't budge doesn't crease and this will keep it set in all day and like I say this is really really fine so it doesn't sit on like like you would think that a powder would sit on your face like a heavy powder and I just go down Everywhere that I've contoured, I will just set that with a powder. You could set your whole face with this powder, but... a uh, uh, Concealed, sorry. Set the concealer with the powder. And I'm going to go in with my contour stick. No problem, Laura. If, you need, if you've got any questions or anything, feel free to... To ask or send me a message or anything. If we're if, and if we're not friends on Facebook, anybody and you want to uh, just feel free to add me as a friend. Right, I'm just going to take this. Down there. Hi Jean! Take this under here, give myself some, try and give myself a bit of lip. 
Oh, I went a bit skinny with that nose. Hi, William. Right, so... Let's try and do something wonderful with this face. Not. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back in with my big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend that in. Give my face some colour. Uh, sometimes when you put your foundation on and it's just plain, I like to just bring back a little bit of colour. This will cast a shadow round the outside of my face where there should be a shadow. Try and define the face a little bit. And then I just pull that up. anything I'm just going to pull this into the hairline and I'll just do it under my lip. This, if you do a bit of contour under your lip, it gives you the appearance of a fuller lip. I think I'd need some big injections to give me a fuller lip. Right, and just going to blend out the nose. Now I'm going to take some bronzer. Did I? Yep. Actually forgot I'd... I thought I'd forgot to bring something out there and I was being too organised, but no, I brought it out. I brought it out. Right, the bronzer, this is Malibu bronzer. I'm just going to take the dark side of that and I'm just going to set that contour. I will blend this out, don't worry, I won't leave it like that. This will set the um, contour in, that because this was a cream, cream contour stick. This will set all that in. We'll blend that out. You could also, a lot of people like to bronze down their neck so it matches a bit. The chest. <laughs> right, and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This one, I think. And I'm just going to blend that out. There's so much blending, honestly. The more you could blend out, the better. All about blending. And that will also give me a wee bit of colour. There go. Um, now I'm going to do underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take that 
colour Arrogant again. I'm going to go under with... So I'm just going to go back in with the first colour on my eyes, Arrogant, and I'm going to take that underneath. I'm just going to take that halfway because I don't want to... I think I must have had some dark on there. Um, I don't want to close my eyes in because I've got quite small eyes anyway. I'm just going to start off with that. And then I'm going to go in with the darker one which is called Brave. And I'm going to go over with that as well. And I'll give that a wee rub with the crease brush. Now I'll just give that a wee blend in. You could take that right up to meet that corner. Then we're going to go on to the epic epic oh that's what i didn't bring out i didn't bring my epic out i knew i'd forgot something i knew it i was too organized being too organized right so as per usual i will try not to get too excited about this amazing stuff this is one step mascara Wait till you see the magic in this. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, guys. I'm... I don't know if I could talk in mascara at the same time. Ow. Right, this is the best. They say that the it's best to have two coats of this. Again, this is buildable. This is the... Best mascara I have ever tried. Ever. And I have tried a lot of mascaras. And this is the most amazing. I suppose you're laughing at me poking myself in the eye. And the good thing about the mascara is if you leave it to dry, which I didn't do, so I'm not setting a very good example here at all, it just wipes off if you get it anywhere else. So that's the first coat of the Epic. I'm going to do one eye first to show... To show you, because um, I like to, I like to show the difference between my my lashes and Epic lashes. I always put eyeliner on my lids. Oh, up the top, yeah. I I've got um. I don't know whether sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends. Um, depends how I feel, really. I was going to put some. We have a dip and draw eyeliner and it's fantastic for... Because I have to do just a thin line because my eyes are, again, they're hooded. It's quite a pretty colour that though, isn't it? Quite nice. Right, and again, I'm just going to go back and do my second coat. They say the magic is in the second coat. I believe it's from the first, but... It just gets better with the second. I'm going to show you the difference in... my eyes
Ow. Put myself in the eye. I'm taking bad with these being so long. I don't know how to work them. Again, this is buildable. So you could build up to whatever whatever size you want. Obviously, if you want them thicker, you would take it more to the root. If you want it um, longer, just keep it on the ends. If you want it looking nice, don't poke yourself in the eye. Yeah, um, I used to wear it to open my eyes as well, but um, it depends on the thickness. No, you don't leave it to, you don't leave it to completely dry your second coat. Normally you put the second coat on. You put it on and then if you go over to do the other eye, when you go back, it's not quite dry, so you're just really doing the bottom. I've had too much on my stick, too much on my wand, so... I mean, you could easily just go in with one of the wee combs and take it out. It's it's not it's not that kind of mascara that the more you put on and it clumps and you could feel it. And some mascara's really heavy. Um, it, it doesn't even, I don't even feel like I have mascara on. It's hard to, to imagine that until you've tried it. It's hard to... To say, okay, so let me see if I'm close enough. That's my lashes. And that's my epics. So there's the difference. Mine and the epics. So massive difference. And like I say, you can build it up even more. Um, you could keep adding and adding as much as you want. I've lost my mascara. Oh, there it is. Right, so I'm just going to go over to the other eye. I wouldn't tell them where it was when you said you lost it. That's what I'm saying. I put things right in front of me and it just disappears. I really can't see it. Right, I'm just going to go over to this eye and do the same. Take that wee bit off. Yeah, it's really good. It's good stuff. I'm absolutely amazed with this mascara. This mascara is just absolutely amazing to me. And the fact that you don't feel it as well is... Although I'm beginning to see, I'm beginning to see my eyelashes when I've got it on. I'm like, able to see them. Which is crazy, but I mean, there's no denying. That they, I don't have curly lashes, I can't curl them, they will not curl. I've got used to curlers, and they will not curl. And this actually lengthens and curls. Honestly, if you ever want to buy a mascara, a new mascara, definitely go for this. You will not be sorry. It is fantastic. Also, the mascara has a love your product as well. Um, guarantee. So if you were to receive it and you didn't like it or you didn't want it, you just send it back even if you've tried it and they will give you a full refund. So there's nothing to lose. It's called Epic Mascara. You will get you could see it on my website. At the minute, the mascara also comes with a subscription. So, for example, if you, if you went in to order the mascara, you could get it in brown, black and waterproof now. 
it will give you the chance to subscribe. If you subscribe, it will ask you um, what what day you would like your next one sent out. Everybody wants everybody wants uh, doesn't want to run out. Nobody wants to run out of mascara. Um, so they you get the choice of thirty, forty five, sixty, or ninety days. If you choose one of them, um, they will resend you your next one, um, whatever time scale you choose, they will send you it. So you're always going to have your mascara. Um, also, if you subscribe to it, you get free delivery every time it comes. Plus, you get um, free samples, different samples each time you get your mascara. If there was anything else, that, if you went on to order the mascara and there was anything else you wanted, um, you would just add it on uh, there and then. And you would also get that would come free delivery as well. If you, it's nothing. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And if you decided that you didn't, if you decided if you chose thirty days to get your next mascara, and you didn't need it, you would you could just go on and say I don't need it this month. I'll get it next month. Um, also, if you decided you know I don't want to be subscribed subscribed anymore, you just you just cancel it and you could resubscribe again whenever. There's no cost, no nothing, so it's fantastic, and you're getting your free delivery um, every time you order it, every time it's due to come out to you. So it's definitely worth it. We all we all like a bit of free delivery. I know I do. So there we go. There's the um, the epic. These eyelashes on this side are. Not as good as the ones on this side for some reason. So there we go, that's that eye with the epic on. Don't know if you remember what that was like before. So definitely worth definitely worth a try. It's the best mascara I've I've ever used. Right, I'm going to go in with lips. I'm just going to use a lip liner. No, I'm not. I'm going to highlight first. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight my face first. With a luminizer. Cream to powder illuminizer. I'm just going to put that on top of the cheekbones here. Oh, what have I done there? I pat this on because it starts off as a cream. Although it dries to a powder, it starts off as a cream and I'm putting it on powder. So I don't want it to irritate the, my powder by rubbing it on. I'm just going to highlight above the brow. Then on the cupid's bow. And a wee bit on the chin. Right, now I'm going to take my I'm just going to blend that in a bit so that it's not just sat there by itself. I'm going to take that Benevolent, that colour that I highlighted my brows with, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on top. Of my Luminizer. To give that a shine. <laughs> I love a bit of shine. Like a glazed donut. I'll just blend that in a bit. Now I'll go in with my lip liner. This is in pouty. I've got hair here, sticking to my eyelashes. Come on. So I'm just going to go in with this. Take 
stick some of that foundation off my lip. I'm just going to line my lips with that. I think it needs sharpened. Oh, thank you, Fiona. You never know what it's going to look like in the, in the phone. And I look at this mirror, it looks different from when I look in this mirror. Okay, so this is Pouty. Uh, a really creamy. I'm just going to... colour in the corners and I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to use the concealer to Instead of putting a lipstick on, just going to use the lip liner. I think I really need to get this sharpened. And that just gives A little bit colour on the lips, but nothing too extreme. You could go bright red. With, mm, should I have put my red on? Should I try bright red? What do you think? Do you think there's... I'm going to try the red. I'm going to be daring. I'm going to go in with a big red lipstick. Now I have a choice of... That's not red. I've got now the choices are what's this one sizzling or stubborn which one do we think's best this one's just checked this one's stubborn and this one's sizzling should we try yeah should we try which which red though Mia which one the red red or the not so red red. <laughs> what do I think? What do I think? Sizzling. Right, okay. Okay, well it's your fault, Mia. Oh and you Charlie. Let's go, let's do the red red. Because when you're feeling like you can't be bothered or you've got the world on your shoulders, you just shove on your red lippy and you own it. I'm not going out. <laughs> right, here we go.
Sizzling it is, girls. Sizzling it is. Excuse all the faces, by the way. What are different faces you do when you do makeup? Exactly, there you go. Yep, Saturday night. Who needs an excuse for some... Who needs an excuse for red lippy? Any more of this and I'll have... I'll probably end up going out... So creamy. I normally do use a lip liner only because, um, only because it tends, if you put a lip liner on, you kind of have a more of a guideline to where your lips are going to go so you don't bleed. A lot of people overline their lips. I look like a clown when I do that. I might actually do it one day just to just to make you laugh. Um, but yeah, a lot of people do. But you don't have to. You don't... You don't have to use... Um, it's whatever your preference is. It's whatever you prefer. Where's my concealer brush now? And then you could just go... I've got wee lips, so... I'm not really used to putting a lot of lipstick on. In a few months, you'll see me and I'll have the big, big pointy Mommy. lips and... Oh, thank you, Wendy. Yes, you could tell me anything you want, See, Jaden. Last time, your phone's a phone, and then your face. That was your phone. That was your face way over here. Yeah. Do you think Mum's really close up? Yeah. Mm. And, and you're like way over here, Mum. The phone's way there. Mm. <laughs> ah. See, am I in everybody's face tonight then? <laughs> Mum, can you see how far you are? Mhm. Mm yeah, I thought I was close. Mum. Ma so yeah. Um. The phone's there. Yeah, no, darling. I know. There. So there we go. Um, red lippy. Not really giving myself much a shape there, but. What do we think of that? It's a wee bit different, isn't it? It's a better for a Saturday night. Is that more of a Saturday night look? Could take on the world look. So, yeah. Um,. I think that is me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put eyeliner on. Um because I like these colours like that. Oh thank you, Laura. Oh thank you, Margaret. I'm glad you could see it. Um It's hard to tell if people could see see the difference. But yeah, if anybody thank you very much for joining me. That's uh one thing I do want to say. I really appreciate you joining me. Um if you could please share, that would be fantastic. I would really appreciate that. I've got a wedding. Ah, oh, you've got a wedding tomorrow. Oh, I wish I'd have known. I could have helped you out if I'd have known before. Um, any questions, please, please feel free to ask. Just PM me. If we're not friends on Facebook, feel free to add me as a friend. Um, if you're interested in any of the makeup, my website is pinned down below. If you have any issue with the website or finding the product that you're looking for, again, just ask and I'll help you with anything I can. Um, and thank you very much for joining me. And I hope to, I hope you join me again. Any questions, guys, just, just uh, PM. I'm always available to 
answer any questions. Thanks so much for joining. Bye!